Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I am bringing you a video um, in association with For the Love of Pretty Paper um, which is a scrapbooking group um, on Facebook. Um, so I was contacted by them to see if I wanted to um, to do a layout for National Scrapbooking Day, stroke weekend, stroke international, stroke whatever you want to call it. Um, and the theme was journaling. So the task was to journal on... Um, the layout and I think she said at least at least a quarter it might have been at least half um, it was to journal a lot I think it was a quarter um, so I had to have at least a quarter of my layout with journaling on so I could have gone the easy route and used a 9 by 12 um, layout but I decided to make my life even harder and I went with a full 12 by 12 on this one. So my task this year is to try and finish off my uh, Disney albums and so I thought this was a great opportunity to um, get a single photograph scrapped but it's scrapped nonetheless so all I've done here is I've got these little three by four cards um, I've dragged I've got a specific box full of Disney ephemera um, and I'm just using those to um, sort of use uh, uh, at the sort of maybe a third of the top of the page and I don't want to add too much more because I know that I want to get a lot of journaling onto this so I'm just using these um, silver thickers and also this puffy puffy sticker from Heidi Swap that says happy. And the title of this is going to be My Happy Place. So I'm going to start reading you the journaling now because I don't think we're ever going to get through it because I do speed it up. So my journaling reads, I am a self-confessed Disney fanatic. From the movies to the merchandise to visiting Disney World itself, I cannot get enough. I think it stems back to growing up in the 1990s as Disney films really connected with my generation. I can't ever remember a time in my life without Disney in some form or another. The fairy tales and classic books are timeless and I think that's why young and old appreciate it. I'm not alone being a passionate Disney fan as I know there is an army of us all over the world. It's so much more acceptable for adult men and women to walk around wearing Disney themed clothing items more so than when I was growing up. It seems that my generation and the next has made this happen and I'm not complaining one bit. If I could choose a film to watch, it's going to be a Disney one. If I could choose something to wear, it will have Minnie Mouse on it. And if I could choose someone to go on holiday, it would definitely be Walt Disney World Florida again. I have Minnie Mouse on my watch. I have Tinkerbell earrings. I drink from a chip cup and pour my tea from Mrs. Potts. I recite the words from most Disney films in my day-to-day -day life. My towels that dry me are Disney. My kitchen utensils that cook my food are Disney. My bedding is Disney. Heck, I even have a Disney tattoo on my arm. I liken myself to Peter Pan and never want to grow up. I might be getting older, but Disney stays the same and that is why I'm a Disney fanatic through and through. So that is my journaling. Um, so I think task accomplished. Um, so just to... Um, show you here what I'm doing so I'm just using a t-square ruler you can just use a normal ruler um, and I'm just creating some journaling lines um, across the bottom half of the page giving myself enough room to add in um, what I wanted to add in I made a bit of a mistake but that's fine I'm um, just using a rubber and I'm just making um, very light pencil marks um, because I want to rub these out afterwards you could by all means use a pen um, to create some permanent journaling lines but I knew that I wanted to um, get rid of the uh, the lines afterwards so I do end up cutting a lot of this out so I don't um, bore you with watching me journal quite a lot on this layout I'd love to know I mean I'm I'm a bit of a uh, uh, I struggle with journaling. Um, I am the sort of person that doesn't journal a great deal on my layout. So I am getting better with it. And I certainly haven't ever done this amount of journaling on any single layout. So let me know in the comments down below if, if you love um, or if you hate journaling. And give this video a thumbs up if you're a Disney fan as well. I know you're out there. Um, I know I'm not alone. And let me know if you ever made a Disney layout where you have put a lot of journaling on it um, and you sort of told the story of as to why you like Disney or why you like anything really. 
Um, this really does sort of paint a picture as to, um, you know, why I love it and, you know, why we, why we go and visit every single time. And yeah, it's just one of my favourite places to be. I, I wouldn't be anywhere else. If I could live at Disney, I think I would. I think you'd get bored of it though, wouldn't you? So here I am just finishing the layout um, with the last little sentence here. Just saying I'm a Disney fanatic through and through. And that is my journaling done. So I'm just going to make a start on the embellishing. I'm only going to embellish on top of those cards um, or on or around those cards. I don't want any more embellishments sort of down in the journaling distracting from it. So I'm just using one of these little um, clips to bring some of that red, uh, red, should I say, over to the right hand side of the page. And next I'm just bringing out my, I've got a whole load of random Disney ephemera stickers that I've been sent things I picked up pick up along the way I used to do pocket letters and um, I've done quite a few Disney pocket letter swaps so I've got a whole load of random Disney stickers and um, ephemera and all sorts so I'm just using this roller date stamp uh, this is from the say cheese collection and it's got this little star pattern on so I'm just going to use this to board around that yellow card especially because we've got the black on the left hand side I just wanted some more black over to the right hand side so here I just want three of the stars I think it is so I'm just going to wipe the ink off and only get ink back onto three of them so it doesn't overhang the card and it's not the straightest of stamping but you're never ever going to get straight stamping if you're using a um, a roller fray stroke um, roller date stamp and I'm cool with that it doesn't bother me so next I just bring in some um, chipboard that's pretty much it I don't think I add I don't think I add any stickers or anything onto this I think I just go with that one pin and some chipboard so I'm just dragging some of that yellow over to the left um, and keeping with the star theme and then because we've got um, a heart on that red card I have added um, a red heart onto that card and then another uh, red and white chevron heart onto the yellow card um, and then I did add that little banner piece it's the only one that's in a colour that's not in this collection um, that's in sort of that brown colour and it says the best place in the whole world because it actually is um, so let me know in the comments down below if you are a Disney fan, if you have ever been to Disneyland, Disney World, um, Disneyland California, um, if you've ever been to um, Disney in Japan, I'd love to know um, what your experiences are and um, because yeah, I can, I can talk till um, the cows come home about Disney, I absolutely love it. Um, this is one of my favourite things to to scrap. So I don't know why it's taken me so long to finish my Disney albums. I just need to get aboard it. Um, but I love this challenge of um, of adding lots of journaling on. Because quite often it's it, the layouts are very uh, photograph heavy. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much all I do. Just adding some wet glue to the back of these um, chipboard because they'd like to come unstuck. They're not the best. Uh, they're not the best. Uh, have the best stickiness on is what I'm trying to say and yeah just this last one here and then I'm pretty much done so um, I hope you are enjoying international scrapbooking day stroke weekend stroke international stroke whatever you want to call it and um, yeah I urge you to get involved in some scrapbooking challenges this weekend see what you can create and oh here we go just rubbing out those pencil lines there just showing you that I did actually finish it off and um, yeah, be sure to join join in with some other ladies that are, um, are taking uh, part in this all across the weekend. And um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. So bye for now.